most people who play with Legos are kids, but we found one grown-up who is, not only loves using the iconic toy bricks, but he also turned them into a career. Unbelievable story. Roby is here to tell us more about the art of the brick. Catherine, it's the largest display of Lego art ever assembled. The show just opened at Faneuil Hall. We got a preview from the artist who told me it's a fun way to introduce kids to art history. It's this week's Roby on the Road. No doubt you've seen the Mona Lisa with its cracked canvas. After all, it was painted in the early 1500s. There are cracks here, too, in between the tiny toy bricks that somehow come together to make up this magnificent portrait. People connect to the art on a different level because it's made out of a toy they're familiar with. Like lots of kids, artist Nathan Sawaya started tinkering with Legos when he was around five years old. A few years ago, he did some thinking when he ditched a career as a corporate lawyer to reconnect with his boyhood passion. Well, I wanted to take some famous pieces from art history and try and replicate them out of this very famous brick, the Lego brick. Iconic pieces like American Gothic, this is not your grandparents' version, and how about Whistler's mother, presented in 3D. Well, for the first time, we actually get to see Whistler's mother's expression, because we see the front of her face as well as just the side view in the painting. Here's Nathan's tribute to the eternal statues on Easter Island known as the Moai. It took him a month to create this 75,450 Lego bricks. He built it to relieve stress before his wedding. Did he come on the honeymoon? He did not, no. Before the honeymoon, he lovingly crafted these stunning portraits of his then-girlfriend, Courtney, now his wife. Not all of Nathan's pieces are iconic. Many are originals, like this one called The Yellow Man. He told me it's about opening yourself up and letting your soul pour out. Others may interpret his art in a different way. Now kids look at this and I think they really like it because there's guts spilling out all over. <laughs> Speaking of looking inside, there's a self-portrait. He knows what his most prominent feature is. Whether it takes him days or several weeks, each piece of art starts with picking up one little toy brick at a time as he builds his creations piece by piece. My whole role is to inspire others and I want them to go home and, and create. Creating art makes me happy and I hope it makes other people happy. Just amazing. My first thought was Lego must sponsor him, right? No, they do not. He has a great relationship with them. He buys all his Legos. He pay, makes custom orders, but he doesn't get them for free. I, I just <laughs> assume that. And it, it, just to have piece by piece, I, I can't believe the, the time that goes into it. You got to check this out. Fanny Hall Marketplace is there through January, so you got plenty of time. It's fascinating. I know. You must have, it looked like you had a good time. Uh, yeah, I'm a Lego kid, and my kids play with Legos now, so it's perfect.